Привіт, буває. Дивіться, сьогодні ми в сонячний день в Майамі, Флориді, і сьогодні ми зніматимемо реакцію пересічних американців на різні українські пісні. У нас сьогодні Go A, Hard Kiss, Без обмежень, Альона Альона і інші виконавці. Я сподіваюся, вам буде цікаво. Перші американці мають згадатися, з якої країни ця пісня, якою мовою співається в цій пісні. Але також податиму, що вони чули про Україну. Сьогоднішній випуск буде дуже крутим. Якщо ви ще не підписані на мій канал, то підпишіться знизу ні на Україну. Love you. І, до речі, сьогодні віде народження, а я в свій народження люблю свою найулюбленішу справу, а це знімаю для вас класні відосики. Приємного перегляду. Hey, how are you? This is Shaker, Key from New York City. I was born in New York, but I was raised in Miami. Uh, Colin Sav. I uh, will have my own business. Uh, well, I am an independent Amazon seller. My name is Shai, aka Finesse, aka Sydney Manson. You're because... from Sydney? No, that's just my name. <laughs> I like Sydney Portier. You can follow me at Sydney Manson on Instagram. Where are you from? I'm from New York, the Bronx. Okay. I am Clashes. You can call me Clash. I am from all over. You could look me up on Instagram, State to State Clashes. I'm Boss Don Juanito. I'm from New York. And you can follow me on Instagram at Boss Don Juanito. What's uh, your job or passion or hobby? Occupation? I do retail, sales, and entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, I make music and I'm a consultant. I'm an artist slash entrepreneur. My name is Mehdi and I was born in Shiraz, Iran and then I moved to the United States uh, about 13 years ago. And you doing, are doing research at Harvard, right? Correct. In what area? Uh, so I'm in the area of computational sciences and robotics. Computational sciences and robotics. What's your particular research area? What are you most excited about in your research? So we're trying to, so the, my last project was about collective behavior of animals. So in particular fish. So they move together all the time. You know, if you see them in the oceans, you rarely find single ones. And it turns out they can do a lot of good stuff with that collective movement one one of them is they save energy. So we discovered how they save energy and we just published it. What's your name and where are you from? I don't even Isaac. know. Isaac. Florida. What's your profession? Retired. Retired? Okay, great. I'll show you a music video and um, for sure you've never heard it. And you'll have to guess what country are those videos from. Okay? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, okay, sounds amazing. Sounds very Eastern European. Can I give you four options? Could be Hungary, Russia, Ukraine. One of those, one of those three. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. India. <laughs> India. <laughs> Afghanistan. Um, Iran. <laughs> because of the costumes, maybe. I don't know what's up. Um, when can I guess? You are ready to guess? Yeah, when can I? Right now, how many guesses do I get? Like three guesses. Okay, three guesses. Um, Russia. Okay, that's number one. Turkey. Okay, number two. And uh, check. Okay. Those are my three guesses. What about you guys? I was gonna say he took Turkey, Sweden, and I think Australia. Okay. Canadian. <laughs> I'll say Russia. You say Russia? Yes. Why? Uh, because I know some words like Harosho and all. Harosho means good. <laughs> and they mentioned Harosho there, right? Yeah. So it's Russian, yes. It's Ukrainian. 
Aww, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. What do you think about the video? It's pretty good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So how many guesses do I have? Oh, you can have as many as you want. Okay, so my very first guess, so this is definitely from Eastern Europe. Okay. I would say, so my very first guess is Ukraine. Mm -hmm. My second guess is Romania. Mm -hmm. And then the third, Bulgaria. Okay, cool. So, a hint is that you're right. It's one of those three. I'll show you one more and maybe... Sure, can... sure. Did you like the singer? For sure. Nice voice. I loved her voice. So this is, a, I'll show you a very traditional um, song. Uh, from that country. From that country. Very traditional. It's like... Folklore? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, folklore. Great. Thank you. Sure. Dobry večer tobi, pane hospodar, zastelajte stoli, tam se So, okay, okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Romania. I missed it. God you damn. were right first time. It's Ukraine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the first time you were right. I have a lot of friends from Ukraine in Harvard, so mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends, Ukrainian friends there, and also Romanians. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. I love Romanian music a lot. So I had two friends in grad school who were Romanian, and they showed me that. And this is one of those things that if I have a time, I just want to have a trip to all these countries mm -hmm. to just listen to this folklore music. Mm -hmm. So I would say the most the European the European country that has the most the similar to where I'm from is Greece. Surprisingly, their folklore music is very similar. Mm -hmm. It's probably from 2000, 3000 years ago where like mm -hmm. there was a lot of connections. Let me one more song, okay? And then you'll maybe revise your guesses, okay? Okay. Okay. Alright, good one, alright. Tap the me. Oh. Oh, there you go. What the hell? I'm ready to go. Oh, the one. No clue? Um, no clue. Same guesses. I was gonna say Texas, but that doesn't even make nah, sense. Polo, overseas. But... What? Polo. Polo. Very close. So combine your Pol Poland guess and your Russian guess. So it's a country between Russia and Poland. You too slow? No, I'm drunk. <laughs> Poland and Turkey. Ready for answer. Ukraine. Ukraine. Wow. We could have guessed, no, guessed And I couldn't uh, think, bro. I couldn't ridiculous. think, no. Because I couldn't think Poland, of too many places. She gave it to us between Poland and Russia. I was trying to think what's been in between there. The Ukraine. Okay, ready for a rap song? Oh. Oh. What they rap about, food? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
Ты ведь чё на свете, да просто приня, мы не нарекаем А я уже давно приняла его, ведь тёлки мне его не ведь Он не ведь там, он не ведь там, он не ведь там, он не ведь там, он I don't know what she's saying. I guess she's losing. But they was making fun of her or something? So she did a video about the food, so she don't care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who is your partner? Brazil? Okay. Brazil or Italy? No. Greece? Brazil or Italy? Or Greece, I say. Or Greece? Yeah. Okay, last attempt. Ireland. Wow, what a feeling, huh? I don't play this music. I love this music. Fantastic music. Fantastic. Pretty much is American vibe, but the, the thing is different. Different language. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much is American vibe. Yeah, I love it. Beautiful. Yeah. Name is uh, the hard kiss. Hard kiss. Yeah. All right, hard yeah. kiss. <laughs> I'll search hard kiss. Your Ukraine rocks. Okay, it's Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> they did good. Ukraine. Okay. Have you been to Ukraine? No. Nope. Uh, oh, it's all of them is Ukraine? Yeah, it's all oh. of them is Ukraine, yeah. No, I've never been to Ukraine, so no? but they're beautiful. Beautiful music. What have you heard of Ukraine? I used to watch the Disney Channel a lot. And it was stuff about Ukraine. Do you remember anything, just one thing about Ukraine that you remember? No, they're, they're scary, very scary people. Are you, are you Ukraine? I'm from, from Ukraine. Very Am scary. I very scary? Yes. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I see Ukraine people. They always no, they're yelling nice at people. and there, there was something that happened in the Ukraine. Yeah. Um, Trump was beefing with them. Yeah, that's, the Biden stuff. Yeah. That's the, what I was yeah. hearing about. Yeah. I don't know much about Ukraine except. The capital, maybe. Uh, no, but I, I hear, I hear a lot about Ukraine. In the news. In the news, yes. Where there were problems um, in Ukraine. I'm not sure exactly the problem. As far as I know. Uh, I used to think Ukraine was part of Russia. The funny fact was they kind of get they kind of get mad. <laughs> it's like a, they all be like, "No, I'm not Russian. I'm Ukrainian. We're independent. We're different people. We're not Russians." That's what I heard. Have you been to Russia? I've been to Russia twice. And How would you compare? Like, would you say Ukrainians and Russians are different? Like, what was yours? I would say pretty much the people are very nice to me. Very mm -hmm. nice. And the culture was pretty same as well. Any difference? In the, the difference, I feel like Ukrainians are more friendlier, mm -hmm. easygoing. Mm -hmm. I would say Ukrainians are. I mean, it's bad to say. I would say Ukrainians are prettier and nicer, I guess. Mm -hmm. The capital of Ukraine? Um, Kiev. Okay. Of course. I'm from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm there yeah. Well, I have a lot of friends from Ukraine. Really? I love Ukrainians. Have you been to Ukraine? Yes, I've been to Ukraine twice. Been to Kiev. I'm from there. Oh, nice. I love Kiev. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful country, wonderful people. And I would like to visit there again. I love the people. Fun people, good culture. I love the food. Ukraine is just one of those beautiful countries that you gotta travel. You gotta go and see. And honestly, I feel like, I feel like the world is a much smaller place nowadays. You know, anything happens anywhere, everybody finds out. So it's like one of those things that before you die, you have to visit every single country, even for even for a week, even for a week. I I, I totally agree. Totally believe in that. I've done um, about thirty, not many. Yeah. So 30 to 40 is usually normal for people who travel a lot. More than 50 is one of those things that you have to put a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it doesn't come easily because of work, you know, a lot of things come into, uh, come into play. But yeah, but yeah, we gotta try what we can do. Anything you know about Ukraine, maybe our Ukrainian food uh, that you've heard about? Um, I kind of like the desserts, uh -huh. yeah. Dessert, uh, mo uh, yeah, more like the desserts. Yes. Yeah? Yes. It was pretty good. Yeah. Sirniki? Did you try that? I never tried Sirniki. Okay, but you tried Varenki. Right, it was pretty good. Yeah. Cherries, do you remember? Red cherries, yeah, right. Red cherries. It, it's really good. So I'm not sure if this is definitely from Eastern Europe. I'm not sure it's from Ukraine. But do you guys have this dish called kotlet? 
patleti. Yeah, oh. we have them. Yeah. I love that. Mm. I love that. So we have a very similar thing. My mom also makes it. Oh, really? um, have you heard the bareniki? Oh. No, it's like dumplings with uh, also meat, or it can be with cherries or cabbage. Porsche? Maybe you've heard about Porsche. You've heard about Porsche. No, Never. No? I haven't heard of it. No. I need to try it. It's okay. Is there any Ukrainian place in South Beach? No. Oh, no, no, no. Your next no, project. Next project. Open. Yeah, my next your next project. project. <laughs> How do you say Ukraine in your language? Ukraina. Ukraina. Yeah. Sexy. That's how it's Privit is hi. Privit. Privit? I'm going to be saying that to everybody I go see today. Privit. Privit. That's high? Privit. Yeah, Privit. That's just only Privit. Privit. spell. How you say bye? I guess. Uh, Buvai. Buvai? Buvai? Buvai. Buvai. Privit. Buvai. Ukraina. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good people, and again, uh, as I mentioned, one of my uh, one of my best friends, she's from Ukraine. I'd like to go there again, and all Ukrainians are welcome here in the United States. They're great people, very educated. I guess uh, they have a great future. Good things will happen for Ukrainians and Russians, so they can get along. Good people. Independence, different countries, but I want them together and people. People just don't hate each other for politics. Politics, just just news. People just see people as a person. Don't judge them and just, just don't judge them because of politics. You gotta love each other, no matter where you're from. And I have love for all Eastern Europeans, Hungary, Russia, Poland, all around the globe, no matter where you're from. Best of luck to Ukraine. Hopefully I'll I'll be flying there soon, and I love you, Ukraine. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, Ukraine is beautiful. Beautiful people, and it looks like it's a beautiful country, and I would love to visit Ukraine. They can do a lot of good stuff with that collective movement. One, one of them is they save energy. So we discovered how they save energy, and we just published it. Wow, how do they save energy? So um, are you familiar with aerodynamic concepts? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of my viewers are familiar with that. Yeah. So one thing that we realized was that they use this concept called Nollerbets effect. It's uh, essentially, if you think about airfoil. So airfoils are essentially, if you get a, if you get an aircraft wing, and if you slice it that cross section is like an airfoil right that's where you get the lift and thrust and everything when you're actually moving in the air now when you have an oscillatory wave a wavy flow coming towards that airfoil so let's say fish move by flapping the tail right that flapping leaves an oscillatory movement in the flow it's very subtle and so so when you put another fish which just looks like an airfoil, right? So if you look at fish from top view, it looks like an airfoil. In that flow, what happens is that they get suction because of the nodal bridge sucking on their nose. So essentially, you're going behind them and something's sucking you forward. So you don't have to flap as fast. So that's why you save energy. Uh, I know it's a lot, but once you know no mm -hmm. bits effect, I encourage you to go and look it up. Oh. Uh, you'll understand them much better. But yeah, I'm sure my physics enthusiasts, so of course, in <laughs> general, they will love that. <laughs> okay, your wisdom, life wisdom for Ukrainians. I would say make as many mistakes as you can, as long as you're young. You know, if you're in your early 20s you know, just graduating from undergrad and like in, in 19, 20, 21, this is a time to make a lot of mistakes um, because it is only through mistakes that we learn. And you know, to me, life is all about learning. And I think to a lot of people's life, it's better, and it should be. Just because we just want to be better every day. And it is impossible if you're comfortable. This is the most important thing, and take risks. And this is very important. And um, the younger you are, the less risky actually all these mistakes are. Uh, but no. What's your largest risk you took in your life? Oh, um, when I was so long time ago, when I was, I feel like 20, I, I was in 22. And then I completely changed my major. I think at the end of the day, um, it's about what makes you happy and what you're good at. That's also another thing. One more thing before, yeah, sure. before, before I go. This is also based on the recent studies that I've had. A lot of people tell you when you're very young, let's say when I, was in, when I was 16 years old, 17 years old, I was very good in school. So everybody would tell me you have to do physics and mathematics and all that stuff. And then one more thing they said, you have to follow your passion. I feel like that was a bad, very bad advice. It sounds counterintuitive. You know, 99% of people say follow your passion. I'm going to say, based on what I've read, based on what I've learned, this is a bad advice. Do you know why? No, it's very interesting why. 
because because your passion changes the one thing that we need to understand is that as you age as you progress through life your passion changes sometimes you're passionate about this project sometimes you're passionate about that project it takes a while to realize what your passion is my advice is be exploratory, exploratory. Uh, explore many different projects many different areas before finding your passion don't assume because you like something this is your passion there might be other things that actually not only you're good at but you also you like it better follow nina and make sure you subscribe and like her and show her channel. love because she's a cool person a lot of love a lot of love Друзі, дякую вам дуже за перегляд. Насподіваюся, вам було дуже цікаво. Я для вас обожнюю робити відео. Якщо вам сподобалось, не забудьте, будь ласка, вщент розбити лайк батон, вподобайку. Це дуже важливо для алгоритмів YouTube, щоб вони просунули моє відео до більшої кількості людей, і щоб було в мене більше підписників, і в мене було більше мотивації робити для вас у свій день народження такі відео, і не тільки. Дуже вас люблю, бажаю вам хорошого дня. Якщо ви ще не підписалися, підпишіться на Ніна Україна і... Побачу вас дуже скоро. А коли? Вже у наступному відео. Па-па.